Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to this Net at Work 10 minute quick tip video. Today I'll be covering how to add an additional column on the customer screen, which uh, really is called the generic inquiry screen. So the first thing we're going to be needing to do is find out where that address line is residing in the system and where it is located so we can pull it and call it to put it on this form. The first thing we'll do is we're going to find it by clicking on the customer ID in this case and we're going to go down and see here address line 1. The next thing we need to do is figure out where in the system it is located and to do this there's two ways to go about it. You can either hit control and alt on your keyboard and you'll get this little question mark that appears by your cursor or customization inspect element, same thing. On here we're going to be looking at two specific pieces of information which is the data class and data field. This will quickly uh, just tell you it's under the address table and that we need to go look under the address line one field in that table. So write that down separate on a separate piece of paper, take a screenshot because we're going to need it for the next step. After you have that we're going to go back, we're going to drill into the, cust uh, to the customization menu and hit edit generic inquiry so we can actually add the address line to display. Next you'll be uh, greeted with a couple of different tabs here. Uh, the tables are the tables that the data field is residing in. In this case it was under the address so we don't need to add another table here. But if you were adding a field in a different uh, scenario that wasn't covered here, you'll add it on this screen first. Next you'll head over to relations and relations is how the data will actually communicate and link to each other. So for this we're going to be using the customer parent table and we're going to be using the address line as the child table. The join types is how the data will be looked at. So an inner join meaning will mean that it will look at both sides, the parent and child, and if there's data, it will then print the uh, print the piece of information. But under this in this scenario, it will look at the parent table, and if the parent table is having uh, has a piece of information, then it will print the uh, will look at the child table. Below, you'll see when you click on these two, the links for active relation will change. And that's because you need to decide and uh, actually configure how the data is, how the tables are connected. I'm going to briefly cover this uh, for this uh, modification. And to kind of explain, and you can go in more in depth on the question and actually scroll down and go to the generic inquiry to get a little bit more of how the data is related. But to kind of give you a quick summary, you're looking for a piece of information that is on both tables. So some piece that you can then look at that will not only show, will be similar in one the parent table, but in the child table. So it, the system will know uh, how to connect the information and then print the information. So for here, we're using the account IDs on the customer table and the business account table as well. And we're going to be focusing on if the customer table has information to then uh, look at the child table as well. And you can see in here when you open the menu, uh, there's a lot of different options. Don't get too discouraged right away. Uh, you're going to look for a similarity. So what I generally do, my rule of thumb, is I kind of look to where the data is look, uh, residing, kind of look and see and, and inspect the element around, and then use that to kind of figure out which two pieces of information I can use to connect and look through these menus here. The next thing we have is parameters. Parameters are the different options you can select for the uh, top of a page. So you can see that uh, when you add them here, you can make sure you can have them required or not. That's if you wanted to maybe require somebody to put in a customer name or an address or a, a zip code. Uh, if it has a zip code then to show, this is how you would add those options here. Conditions. Those cover how the data will show up. So you can make a condition, I only want, say, account Ten, uh, a specific account to show every single time uh, on the screen. You would add that as a condition and you would add that under here the data field which in this case if you're adding we'll do like a customer account name we want to make sure that account name is showing equals and then what that value is is what the customer name is here and then this way the system will only display that. You can also filter on the without going in here as well. Grouping is how the data is clumped. Sort order is how it will be sorted so we're sorting by the customer account and we're doing it in ascending order. Uh, you can also sort by different things and change that around. It's really, really useful if, if, if clients uh, have a preference. 
now the results grid this is where we're going to actually be uh, using that information that we found earlier so the first thing we want to do is find where we want to display that uh, that new address line I'm gonna put it between the city and the country ID so I'm going to right click and hit insert row you can also hit the plus button here or new line new line will show up below uh, but to be between uh, because I want it to display between for every uh, for the users we're gonna insert the row here now kind of recalling the information from before we saw that the 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 class was address and you can see these are all the tables we have here and then the specific underneath the data class that we saw was the address line one and that's the data field that we need here moving on to the right we can see there's a schema field that's how the layout of the data will be showed so you can pull schema fields maybe a layout from a date or as an example or a postal code or a phone number you're kind of pulling that format here uh, uh, width is how wide it is style is if you wanted to make uh, this line show up uh, maybe a contingent if it was um, maybe a certain zip code not best for the address line but maybe a zip code just, sh just show red for those accounts you can do that here under the uh, uh, different one which would be the um, say like the curry ID or maybe you want to do the status if the, if the accounts active or not you can do that as well um, and then visible is if it's the line the column will actually show up and then default navigation this is crucial for drilling in um, drilling into on a generic inquiry screen uh, the default navigation will just be where that normally uh, resides but if you wanted to say when somebody clicks on the address line and goes to a different screen this is where you would override it over here entry point is kind of how where they would enter um, I'm not going to cover it too much in this video just because we're talking about adding results uh, different columns uh, but essentially it's kind of when you click on the screen what menu it goes to uh, when you're drilling in on the docu on the uh, generic inquiry navigation is as well as if you wanted to add new places for it to navigate you would add them here and then they would display on the navigate to here so you need to do this first and, and configure this add the screens you want to be uh, uh, having the information drill into and then you would add the screen here that you would find uh, and you can see how it has AR here uh, to find it on a different screen uh, for an example if you were just open this up in a new tab here you can see looking at your status bar up here this is the uh, data that it's pulling that is the code for that screen so now that we've added the address line one we're gonna go ahead and save and then we're gonna view the inquiry to see our changes as you can see here address line one has been added exactly between the two columns that we were looking to add them in when we inserted it uh, you can always move it around here and sometimes I will point out that the address line will move to the right maybe you just add the line you want to move it over if you want to save that new layout of where it's located for everyone else in the system don't worry uh, you don't have to go back and insert it you can go to tools here share column configuration we're going to go next and then this will give us the option to set as the default navig uh, default layout for all the users or we can override if somebody else has made a change some people drag columns around resize them and that's their new layout uh, but if they didn't touch it it will stay at the default um, but if they did move it we can override that uh, right here so we can make uh, the changes for everyone in the system uh, we can go ahead and hit finished after that to apply those changes and we're done